Hi, Jim Jams. Welcome back. I hope you guys are doing well. Okay. So let's hop in, Gemini. Let's see what's going on, man. Okay, let's see. Thank you guys for your love, your support, your donations, and your um, super chats, your super thanks. I'm sending that love right back to you all tenfold. Okay. Um, let's see what's going on, Gemini. Okay. <laughs> These readings today have been crazy. <laughs> Spirit guides, angels, ancestors, ascended masters, gods and goddesses, please return any spell work, any dark magic that is sent to harm Jim Jams and their loved ones. Me and my loved ones return it back to the sender. Block any interferences that could be stopping the messages from coming through. Clear, concise, and precise messages for my Jim Jams. And protect me as I channel the messages for Gemini. So let's see. What's going on for Jim Jams? All right, so we got uh, no chill. Lost your ability to act rational. No regard for others' feelings. Overreacting. Doing too much. Okay, what else? Five fifteen is on the clock. Could be seeing those synchronicities. We got Insta famous. Many look up to you. Public recognition. The spotlight. Famous, popular Instagram fame. Somebody's trying to make you act out of character. They want you to embarrass yourself. And I feel like the only person that's going to be embarrassed is they ass. Minimal effort, stringing along, giving just enough, leading on. Bottom of the deck is support. Close ally, offer of assistance, sharing the burden, not in it alone. Memories, looking back, feeling nostalgic, dwelling in the past, holding on, curiosity. Peaked interest, investigating further, taking a closer look, keeping tabs. Thirst trap, sweet deal, opportunity, goddess vibes, period, energy work. Okay. So some of you guys, obviously, you could be online, Gemini. You have some sort of public platform, just period. So maybe this ain't going to be for every damn body. Because somebody here has a public platform. Okay, you could be an entertainer of some sort. Okay. And uh, I feel like somebody here wants you to accept crumbs. Okay. Because I feel like they're trying to have something to laugh about. And it's like, I don't really understand why they're not laughing at themselves when they wake up and look at themselves in the mirror. It's like, bitch, you're not laughing at that, but you want to laugh at somebody else. Bitch, go look at yourself in the mirror and tell me what the fuck you see. Period. So let's see. <laughs> it's like somebody got you all fucked up. <laughs> What is uh, Queen of Swords in reverse? Yeah, this weird ass hoe. The fuck you? And <clears throat> what the fuck is this shit about? What the fuck? What's this no chill right here? Some of y'all could be going to a concert. Okay. Well, what's no chill? The high priestess in the reverse. So, yeah, this is somebody that's, like, acting out. Five of Wands. This is someone here that's having outbursts or they have uncontrollable. Yeah, uncontrollable outbursts. This is somebody, too, that's a hoe. It's like, bitch, be for real. Could be a Pisces. Doesn't have to be. There's some sort of unwanted attention here. There was no chill with the high priestess reverse. <clears throat> Three of Cups in the reverse. Yeah, so there's a lot of gossiping and dumbass shit going on. Whoever this is, is so fucking childish, man. This energy been coming out so much. Somebody is so childish. So this could be a lot of gossiping and just somebody here is doing something excessively. Okay, what the fuck? What's the high priestess in the reverse? This could be, too, a dark high priestess. They could be online. You could be online as a high priestess, high priest, whatever the fuck. What's the high priestess in the reverse? The Six of Swords. So somebody's mad because you're moving forward. You're moving into peaceful and calmer waters. Somebody's like mad because you're so calm. The fuck you can raise sit up here and do the most with a bitch for? You don't have time for that. Four, four, four on the clock on the timer. So I feel like you're moving forward. Your guys are moving you away from the fuck shit. 
What's the high priestess in reverse with the six of swords? Or somebody's mad because you're moving away. Or somebody's mad that somebody that wants you is moving away from their ass. Whatever. <clears throat> Two of swords in reverse. Okay, so something has been revealed. Somebody has made a clear decision about what they want to do here. Or whatever. Some sort of secrets have been exposed or lies been exposed here. Somebody's moving forward. What the fuck? So now somebody's having outbursts. They're mad. Or it could just like somebody's like trying to draw negative attention your way because they feel some kind of way about somebody moving on or moving forward or leveling up in their journey. What's three of cups reverse? Oh, okay. The emperor in the reverse. What's three of cups reverse? Emperor reverse. Ten of cups in the reverse. Hmm. <laughs> <clears throat> okay first of all somebody here has been exposed for being a fucking cheater okay and somebody could not be the father of a child that came up in pisces readings too i see my birthday on the clock 5 20 so definitely somebody could be a Taurus gemini cusper okay i always see my birthday y'all reading honey okay but yeah some sort of lies has been exposed and somebody is moving on in the peaceful calm of waters so for some of you, maybe you've been exposing it because you're insta-famous, you're seen in the public eye, so now somebody's mad because somebody's moving forward with their life. They're not the father of a child, so there's a relationship here that's broken. That's just period. Somebody has dropped friends or dropped a third party. Somebody's a cheater. They're a cheater. They party a lot. They, they do too much. They do way too much. So they're getting left, and somebody's upset about it. This could be a divorce here. Okay. <clears throat> but a family secret has came out period what's the emperor in the reverse the queen of wands excuse me what's the emperor in the reverse queen of wands so i feel like yeah you've inspired somebody to see something for what the fuck it is because this is you as an inspiration you could definitely get a lot of attention you could be fine as fuck period and for some of you, I'm also getting, there's a there's a narcissist here that is in a fake-ass family dynamic. They could be losing homes, cars, or losing somebody in their family, or losing a bunch of friends. <clears throat> because of some things you're saying about their corny ass. But what's the Emperor Reverse Queen Wands? Okay, yeah, Six of Pentacles in the reverse. So yeah, this is somebody trying to abuse their power and position of authority or somebody could be losing their job, losing money. But I feel like, let me see, what's Six Pentacles reverse? Somebody is trying to like kiss up or make, you know, kiss up to somebody the moon yeah somebody i feel like there's some sort of um this is like gifts with strings attached somebody has a hidden agenda okay <clears throat> what's the six of pentacles reverse with the moon cancer pisces the knight of wands in the reverse <laughs> Mm. So somebody is competing. This is somebody here that's... There's some sort of gifts or strings attached here with something that somebody is giving someone. This Six of Pentacles in the reverse too could be extortion. Mm. So... This Knight of Wands in the reverse is competing. Somebody is in a fake-ass relationship here with a bitch they don't want to be with, competing with you in your life. This is giving me narcissistic shit here. This Emperor in the reverse is a narcissist. This person is a cheater. It could be this Emperor in the reverse that's a cheater here. They're very reckless, okay, and a whole bunch of dumbass shit.
<clears throat> Whoever this is is very arrogant. They're very conceited. They're very cocky. This could be somebody too that's very hot tempered. Like somebody is abusive. What the fuck is this Queen of Wands, man? <laughs> they're, I feel like they're competing heavy though right now. Okay, yeah, the world. Yeah, that's you. Queen of Wands with the world. That's you fine as fuck online, period. Doing you. And so I just feel like this person benefits off of getting other people to do nasty shit to you. Somebody's a narcissist. That's what it's giving. They're a narcissist. Okay, that's fine. You're moving on with your life and there's this unwanted attention or... Whatever this is, somebody is doing. They're lying, being deceptive. Okay, what's Ten of Cups in the reverse, show? There's a new beginning you're going into. There's a cycle here. Yeah, Eight of Wands in the reverse. So something is going back, period. Yeah, because karma is here. Things are getting ready to be balanced out. So whatever this is right here, I feel like this person could be losing friends, losing money, all kind of shit. Send a picture trying every time they try to compete with you or whatever, and it looks like you're winning with the with the Queen of Wands of the world. They they life go to shit. Like nothing is working. <laughs> What's the Ten of Cups reverse? Eight of Wands reverse. So something here is slowing down for them, or somebody here obviously they miss an opportunity. Or something is being canceled out. What the fuck? What's Ten of Cups reverse? Eight of Wands reverse? Or they're speaking negatively here to whoever the fuck they laying up with. Yeah, the Two of Cups. So somebody's singing, sending negativity to your love life. Yeah, they, they're trying to simultaneously ruin your life while they keep going with theirs. And they don't even like the life that they got. They don't like the person that they with. It's a whole bunch of dysfunction and shit going on in the family dynamic. Somebody could also be losing their home. They losing their home. They just all over the fucking place, bro. And while trying to compete with you and, and like, what, bitch? Somebody's a loser. They are, like, they really are. I feel like they're trying to make you miss some sort of opportunity with a lover or, like, ruin your love life in general. You cannot even be in love with nobody yet. Or for some of you, you could be. And somebody is like trying to compete with you about your love life or somebody that you have feelings for, a friend or whatever, but you love them. What's the two of cups? The king of wands reverse, the page of wands, and the damn magician. So, yeah, I mean, this king of wands in the reverse could be competing with you. For some of you, you got somebody here that you like too. That is not even doing what they supposed to do. So it's like, bitch, what? Like, you don't even know what the fuck going on in a, in a relationship. They just throwing nasty insults or nasty shit your way. You don't, you don't, they don't even know what you're going through <laughs> as far as your love life. And I feel like that's what's best because somebody here is so pressed. They're so fucking pressed. Yeah, the king of wands in the reverse. Queen of wands upright. I feel like, yeah, this is what you're manifesting. You're manifesting love. You're manifesting a partnership where you you're in love with somebody a soulmate and somebody here is competing with it so i feel like you have some sort of new exciting plans or you have good news coming in or this is just you being flirty and i mean you're manifesting something so you have new exciting plans or whatever this is and you're manifesting what you're desiring okay you're 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 keeping your eyes on the prize here and somebody is Trying to fuck with you. Yeah, because they can't manage none of their hoes. <laughs> like, what the fuck? They bit off more than they can chew in a situation. Somebody here wants you to close yourself off and not open up to love here. That's what the fuck they want. They want you to miss an opportunity. That's what it is. They want you to miss something, either a specific person or just your love life in general. They don't want you to... Put yourself back out there. They don't want you to date. They don't want you to do anything. They want to... And it's crazy because they're not even in the relationship that they even like. It's like, bitch, what kind of game are you really trying to play? <laughs> because you're just ruining your own life. I'm going to do what the fuck I want to do when I want to do it. Somebody is so pressed. They're so pressed. So anyways, what's Insta famous? Many look up to you. Public recognition, the spotlight. 
like page of swords in the reverse a lot of gossip just a lot of gossip somebody here evil lying you and everything else press that so what's the insta famous with the page of swords in the reverse page of pentacles in the reverse somebody here is watching you constantly and they're not even getting the right information somebody feels like they're getting the right information from what you're saying or doing from watching you constantly somebody could be getting like a lot of readings done on you or they're doing some sort of magic on you or they're using magic to spy or you could be a tarot reader and they're watching you constantly in the public eye or they're getting readings done on you from a tarot reader that's in the public eye one of the fucking other but i feel like this is somebody you don't even speak to somebody's getting the wrong information they're not even getting the right information about your love life or anything like that they're just attacking you not knowing what the fuck they're attacking because they're so fucking pressed they don't even have the right information. <laughs> That's crazy. Page of Souls in Reverse is Scatterbrain. So it's like somebody being misinformed or miseducated or they're not they're not getting the right information with their stupid ass. What's the Page of Pentacles in the reverse? I feel like, okay, yeah, the Eight of Swords. So this could be somebody here trying to silence you too. They're trying to do magic on your throat chakra or they're doing some sort of magic on your mental health to stop you from being able to think straight. <clears throat> Who's Page of Pentacles? Reverse with the Eight of Swords. Three of Pentacles in the damn reverse. <laughs> hmm. Somebody's trying to keep you in a cycle here. Whoever this is, they're trying to oppress you. They don't want you to live your life. That's what it is, too. They don't want you to live your life. They don't want you to be empowered, independent. They don't want you to put yourself out there because the world and the queen of wands, some of y'all could be online dating. They don't want you to find your lover. They don't want you to do that. And I feel like if you are waiting on somebody to be your lover, I feel like that's you need to move out of that cycle. You know what I'm saying? Because you shouldn't have to wait for that shit. I mean, wrong person, right person, wrong time. It could be a thing. It just depends. You got to assess the situation really but i feel like somebody is just trying to block you they just don't i don't know but i feel like three of pentacles in the reverse somebody here is non-committal somebody here is not committing to something and i don't know if this is you that's stuck in a situation waiting for something or what this could be too eight of swords here is self-sabotaging you could be self-sabotaging here because <clears throat> you're not even speaking to somebody. You're not speaking to someone, but you're staying stuck though. You feel restricted or trapped or this could be like negativity, pessimism as well. Three of Pentacles in the reverse. It's something ain't working. Somebody ain't putting in the work or the effort. That's like teamwork is definitely not making the dream work because there ain't no team to make anything work. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Like, what the fuck? What's the page of swords in the reverse? <clears throat> Seven of Cups. Yeah, like, what's the page of swords reverse? Seven of Cups. The Knight of Cups. <clears throat> There's an illusion here. <laughs> like, around your dating, around your love life. Or somebody's trying to place one on your love life. Yeah, Wheel of Fortune, Queen of Cups, Upright. So, yeah, this is you opening yourself up to love, being receptive. Somebody's confused about who you're dating. They're not getting the right information on who you're dating. For some of you guys, you think you're supposed to be with somebody and you're not. And I feel like Spirit has it set up this way because it's confusing your ops and it's supposed to. Like, the wheel is turning. You're getting ready to get something, okay? You're getting ready to get some sort of good karma or whatever. But somebody's confused about who you're dating. They're trying to see who it is so that way they can block it i guess <laughs> like some of y'all do have a lot of options in love though seven of cups knight of cups here you could be you could be dating you have a lot of options in love but just be careful okay what's the let me see what's the seven of cups the five of swords in reverse yeah, I feel like you're moving away from any kind of self-sabotaging behavior, too. <clears throat> yeah, 
with the five of swords or there's something that's clearing up here let me see what's the seven of swords five of swords reverse okay seven of swords here aquarius moon so i feel like you're keeping something to yourself there could be something you're moving in silence you're keeping something to yourself you're not really saying too much so somebody doesn't know what the fuck going on that's what the fuck they get five of swords i feel like somebody here is getting their ass they're getting ready to be publicly humiliated or embarrassed page of swords in reverse could be some sort of bad news <laughs> What's this Knight of Cups? Yeah, Two of Wands. What's the Knight of Cups, Two of Wands? The Hierophant in the reverse. Taurus. So yeah, this is you moving away from somebody here is trying to really oppress you they're trying to make you conform to something that they want you to conform to somebody's just trying to block your love life in general it's not even about a person anymore because fuck all that if somebody is not showing you that they want to be with you then ain't who the fuck you supposed to be with right now or ever okay period that's just let's start there but in general somebody just doesn't want you to find love in general so they're just trying to block your love life as a whole they don't give a fuck who it is really they're just trying to block it so Because I'm looking at the Hierophant in the reverse is like a rebellious energy or you could be like you're on a very different kind of journey. But this is you. The Hierophant in the reverse is like living an alternative lifestyle or doing something that's causing a lot of controversy. I feel like it's just the way that you live your life. Somebody here is trying to. I don't know. They're trying to stop you from dating. And it's like they they want to punish you for actually going out to date. You know what I'm saying? Like making mistakes, fucking up, dating the wrong people. Because we all do that. They in the wrong fucking relationship look like to me. The fuck? Anybody talk about that shit? Somebody here is trying to just... I don't know. That shit is crazy. For some of you, you can ready to let something go though. Because there's a repeated cycle here that just needs to be let go of. I don't know if you're not learning something or is... And this is what they don't want you to do. They don't want you to learn what you what you need to learn in order for you to move forward. Yeah, four of cups reverse, five of cups in reverse. I feel like you're getting ready to let something go. I feel like, too, there's a lack of self-care or whatever because you haven't really been pampering yourself or doing what you feel called to do, whatever's making you happy. You've been doing whatever. To I don't know what the fuck you've been doing, but there is something that just keeps on repeating. And you need to get out of that cycle, period. <laughs> whatever it is, you can be dealing with a Taurus. I don't know this could be a lesson too about waiting like you're anticipating something or waiting for something and it's not practical so you can really come up out of this illusion because you're self-sabotaging you're sabotaging yourself okay the hierophant in the reverse i feel like uh two of wands with the hierophant reverse you're like i don't like that what the fuck is this hierophant in the damn reverse Or you're not you're not putting yourself out there. Yeah, the devil. You're not putting yourself out there for you to gain enough wisdom or knowledge. You're meant to be a teacher. You're meant to be wise, especially for you being in the public eye. Go watch Taurus's reading. Okay, yeah, this this definitely giving me Taurus's reading, a part two of it, to be honest. But yeah, you're not you're not having enough experience or something. You're meant to have experiences. You're meant to be fierce, fiery, bold, passionate. You're meant to. Go after the things that you want and desire. You're meant to be a, a free spirit. You're not meant to be stuck nowhere, isolated, trapped. I feel like the world needs you. The world needs to see you or something like that, Gemini. Uh, yeah, there's like some sort of negative belief system or like somebody's trying to stereotype you or... You're not meant to live a traditional kind of like lifestyle either. Like you might want marriage or... You want to be a wife or a husband, but you don't have to conform to societal norms to be a wife or a husband. You get what I'm saying? Like, you're meant to live your life as you. And the people that you're supposed to be with, they'll come to you. But as long as you're being you and doing you and doing what's making you happy, 
then it's it's good. Like you're gonna attract the right person. But if you like, I don't know, it's something that something about that. Like you're not to be meant to be no fucking. Cause you know how people say I see that shit online all the time. Social media getting on my fucking nerves too. Cause people are brainwashed. Like people are brainwashed. It's like you gotta be a certain way or live a certain way for you to have a husband or a wife. And I feel like that's definitely not true. You gonna be who the fuck you are, and they gonna bring their ass to you. Okay, or it's going to be a mutual thing, really. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you don't fuck with what I do, then you can get the fuck. You're not for me, period. You're not supposed to stop doing what the fuck you like to do in order to appease other people. That's not how it's supposed to go. You're not supposed to live your life like that. So I feel like it's something like that. Somebody's trying to oppress you here, and I don't like it. So you need to you need to do something about it, Taurus. What's, <laughs> yeah, you being a trendsetter with the Ten of Pentacles in reverse... It's going to lead you. It's going to you're going to find your husband. Period. Some of y'all could be meeting somebody at an event. Okay. Yeah. Like fuck all that. Yeah. Let me see. What's the uh hierophant in the reverse? Hmm. Interesting. Five of Pentacles. Exactly. Feeling left out in the cold. Abandoned. Lonely, miserable, broke. What's the higher thing in the reverse with the five of pentacles? But I feel like this has something to do with the internal. Yeah, the sun. Child, what I say about oppression? I told you that. I just said it's oppression. Fuck no. Mm -mm. So, I mean, this could be you getting ready to do something that's going against societal norms. Okay. But I feel like with the sun reverse, five of pentacles, and the high from reverse... You're not you're not meant to be like this, honey. You're not. Mm -mm. So I feel like you're getting ready to catch on to this shit. Okay, because it's a no. You can have Leo in your chart, Taurus. Mm -hmm. Somebody can have a Taurus Mercury. <laughs> absolutely the fuck not the devil what the fuck what's this uh what's this crumbs here face of swords in the reverse yeah something is the wrong choice it's keeping your ass stuck and it's not growing it's not going anywhere seven of pentacles in the reverse what's the ace of swords in the reverse with the crumbs here yeah ten of wands in the reverse so yeah, this is like a lack of fun or a lack of spontaneity. Okay, I feel like you're getting ready to release something or this is like you reaching burnout. Like you're so tired of doing the same shit or whatever this is. Ace of Swords in Reverse is scatterbrain. This could be hostility, confusion. I feel like it's more so confusion. You you don't have clarity. I feel like you're getting fed up with not having clarity. Somebody is breadcrumbing you right now. Or you could be dating and people keep breadcrumbing you. But I feel like you're getting ready to get fed up with your own mess. Because you keep choosing people that breadcrumb you. So either or. But for others of you, I feel like this ain't, what, this ain't where you're supposed to be at, honey. Something keeps repeating. So you need to release that shit. Let it go. What's this damn Ace of Swords in the reverse? The Empress in the reverse? Yeah, that's not you. Yeah, the Hangman. It, yeah, this is what you need to let go of, Gemini. Taurus, Libra, Energy, uh, Pisces. Mm -hmm. Something is... You're self-sacrificing. It's what I feel like. You're self-sacrificing. The Empress in the reverse is you not being open to receive. Okay, you are... This is a lack of self-love, self-care. Like, no. So you getting ready to switch this shit around. I feel like you're getting ready to come to the realization of what the fuck you've actually been doing. Maybe you, you're so used to this that you just don't know. But you can ready to get your ass up, period. <laughs> okay, hopefully. Because, no. Mm-mm. What's this, uh, 
Somebody here could be lying about an in-person in reverse. They could be stuck over here with this bitch. Whoever is breadcrumbing you could be stuck with an in-person in reverse. Like, okay. What's this Ten of Wands in the reverse? I feel like you're getting ready to drop a burden. Yeah, Four of Pentacles in reverse. You're getting ready to let that shit go because nobody got time for that. What's Ten of Wands reverse, Four of Pentacles reverse? Okay, yeah, Four of Wands. And that's how you find true union within yourself, period. Okay, Jim Jims. I see what's going on here. Yeah. Uh-uh. Ten of Pentacles reverse. The Nine of Wands. Yeah, something is just an ongoing battle time and time again. No, I feel like, yeah, don't give up, but it's not about you not giving up on somebody else. It's about you, you know, not giving up on your damn self. That's what it's about. So you guys will be seeing 444. Yeah, I feel like you're getting ready to release people, places, and things that are no longer serving you. And this is where you're going to be celebrating at. Period. You're letting something go. That's just not it. It's holding you back. And I feel like that's so unfair. So, I feel like you're getting ready to stop 5, 4, 5 on the clock. I feel like you're getting ready to stop your own self-sabotaging behavior because you're sabotaging yourself. Just period. Black magic or not. I mean, people doing whatever they're doing. <laughs> Do you want to be lonely by yourself forever? I feel like, you know, I don't. I don't know about y'all. But, let's see. Give me a card for uh, Jim Jim. Somebody could have an Aries, Venus, Capricorn, Sun could be here. Sagittarius, Saturn. Yeah, you're getting ready to drop some dead weight here because that's what it is. All this crumbs and all this shit. Fuck no. Mm -mm. So we have Trine, Sextile, Symbiosis. Bottom of the deck, yeah, it's Pluto, Rebirth, Mars, Motion, Leo, Shine, period. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -mm. Yeah, it's time for you to expand. Sagittarius, expand the sun, source, self, no, past. Yeah, it's a no. <laughs> We're leaving the past in the past. It's time to move the fuck on. It's time to ascend. So we have a uh, trine and sextile planets promote collaboration by backing one another up, cheering one another on, and adding strength and value to their roles. A trine is, a trine is formed by two planets one third of the way around the circle from each other, 120 degrees apart. A sextile is half that, 60 degrees apart. Trine planets operate from the same element, fire, earth, air, or water, and speak that language. Sextile planets relate from the same polarity, but in different modalities, cardinal, fixed, or mutable. They operate like supportive, non-competitive, best buddies. So it says for your action, lean into what is easy and comfortable and use that comfort to renew, grow, and expand. Look for people who have compatible and complementary ideas or skills to yours. Work with your allies. Gently exp expand your world through doing what you love. Look for a person who holds a missing piece of the project and bring them in. Find those whose work you approve of and invest in them. For some of you, I was getting ready to say, you could be learning how to delegate tasks too. Some of you guys are opening up more to like people, I don't know, in a community or people around you, or you're getting ready to find people of your soul tribe that want to work with you or whatever. So I feel like you should be open to it. Somebody doesn't want you to live your life at all because they're stuck in their tribe, they're oppressed, they're broke, they're whatever. It's like they don't want you to live your life at all. Child, please. So anyways, it said find those. Yeah, okay, it says engage family members and friends who really understand you. Explore what you have in common with a beloved and focus on that rather than on your differences. And build on that from there. Wander in a favorite landscape and learn from what you find there. Play your favorite music, but on a new instrument. Bring your attention to where the energy flows easily. Where support can be found, where enthusiasm exists, grow organically. When life is hard, a dinner with friends where you can laugh, relax, and let down your guard can be great medicine. What a balm to talk over problems with someone who understands your worldview and to whom you don't need to explain yourself. Moments of ease can prepare us for the bigger challenges ahead. So for your challenge, it says the path of least resistance can be both delightful and limiting. Don't get stuck in a comfortable rut. And it says for your gift, lift one another up and grow. The comfort of compatible aspects can help us build up the resources needed to do the hard work and face the tough stuff. Okay. All right. Hmm. Let me see. <laughs> Look at Lilith. <laughs> 
It's giving me, you're giving me Lilith energy right now. Fortuna, who had that? Did Taurus have that? Or Sagittarius? I forgot who the hell had that car, honey, to be honest. So the Fortuna card talks about your luck here again, very change as far as your money. Or could be in other areas. So the key word, yeah, there's going to be a breakthrough here. The key word for Oya is breakthrough. The symbols are lightning, tornado, and storms. And your affirmation is, I am open to receiving the breakthrough I need. So it says, Oya, she who tore, is the Orisha of storms and destruction of the Yoruba people of West Africa. She is the personification of the Niger River and can shapeshift into a water buffalo. She is the dark mother, the sentinel between the realm of life and death. She is symbolic of breakthroughs and guides follow followers through the darkness towards the light of hope she is the raw unbridled untamed destructive power of nature she assists us with rapid transformation blowing out that which no longer serves us she gives voice and movement to our souls while nature as a goddess of destruction she knocks down the old to make room for the new period okay it says oya has arrived today because you are in desperate need of a breakthrough in your life and you are getting in your own way <laughs> Breakthroughs are not always clean or comfortable and often come with change and destruction. However, what you will be able to achieve after the breakthrough will be, will be worth it. Get comfortable as things shift and change around you. You may find that the people that you hang around with change or that your priorities move. I mean, the people that you hang around will change or that your priorities move. This is normal and needed. Level up your entire life and see just how much this move gets your motivation going. So it says work with Oya. Spend time outside when it is windy and let all of that air blow the static from your aura. Make a plate out of air dry clay and then smash it on the on the concrete. Or help a friend knock down all, knock down a wall or take some boxing classes. And it says safely meditate on sounds of thunder and lightning. Okay, Miss Oya. <laughs> so yeah. Yeah, keyword is luck. Yeah, something is... You can already go through a breakthrough here. The wheel is turning whether you want it to or not, period. <laughs> Just like, the wheel is turning. You're going to have to go, you know, roll with it. Mm. So, um... Do I want to pull something else? <laughs> I don't know what I want to pull from, honey. Oh, boy. Okay, let's pull from there. Because I keep looking at it. So, okay. Cool. <laughs> Give me a card for Gemini so I can go, please, sir. Yeah, this is you, the high priestess in reverse. <laughs> You're ignoring your intuition about this new beginning, the world with the six of swords. This could be too, a lack of a social life. This is you. Somebody's trying to have your ass go crazy, honey. to travel okay so we have spirit warrior number 19 leo energy we have peacock priestess 
Hmm. Be brave and true. That's what it says on the card. So it says, in a reading, you are earning the right to make significant progress in your life. The universe will make certain you are ready for the breakthrough by testing your spiritual maturity. The universe, the universe wants to make sure that we are wise enough to use our increased power and any other blessings wisely and not hurt ourselves or others. Even if no one else knows about it, will you behave with integrity and be true to yourself? Will you be kind even when you could be in a position to judge another? Be the best human you can be and know that any tests you are going through are actually predictions of positive changes and divine gifts headed your way. So for your spiritual guidance, it says integrity means being true to yourself. It doesn't matter what anyone else says about it or if their values are different to yours, period. When you are becoming a spirit warrior, you are learning to stand up and fight with love for what matters to you. Sometimes it can seem like spirit warriors need to live to a higher standard than others. Yeah, when you need to be the better person in a situation, it's been set up that way by the universe because you can actually be that person. Not everyone is capable of that. The heavier load falls upon the stronger shoulders, but the more spiritual responsibility we have, the more we are helped to succeed. The path of the spirit, war the spirit warrior may not seem to be the easiest path sometimes, but actually it is easier in the long term because not liking or respecting yourself eventually leads to a tragic loss of soul. Our soul brings us creative fire, passionate purpose, and love so strong we want to heal the world, as well as spiritual connection and so much more. It is worth the effort to safeguard it by living in a way that is honorable and respectful. If that means living to a standard that is spiritual rather than ordinary, then that's okay. It's a more beautiful and special way to live anyway. So fight the good fight, spirit warrior. Great things are headed your way and you are showing yourself worthy and ready for greater success. Okay, period. I like that. Okay, so, so it says sacred ritual. Gaze at yourself in a mirror. And say aloud, I see you, you are brave, you have gone through a lot, and you have grown wiser and stronger. I respect you, I love who you choose to be. Put your hands in prayer and bow your head for a moment with respect in your heart. Okay, that could be what some of y'all need to do. Wow. Okay, let's read the Peacock Priestess. It says, if you feel impatient for something to happen or worry that you are not accomplishing all that you want to achieve quickly enough, then take heart. The universe is working with you, not against you, to bring your dreams to life. Even times when not much seems to be happening are a part of the creative process, balancing out, all, balancing out other times when energy becomes active and intense. What will be most helpful for you and your dreams right now is to rest. During that pleasurable rest, behind the scenes, some spiritual magic is going to be created. So for your spiritual guidance, it says daily life can get us down before we can even realize what is happening. Trying to do it all can push us beyond our limits, draining our energy and stealing our joy. One moment we are on top of the world. The next moment we wonder what happened and why we cannot rally our spirit. If we do not learn how to rest, exhaustion, crankiness and illness eventually force our hand. It takes longer to break down and recover and it is much more painful than it is to learn to rest as part of our lifestyle. Rest is not only a way to prevent unnecessary suffering. It also has its own value. When we are in a restful, when we are in restful quiet, we can hear our inner voice and the guidance of spirit much more clearly. Hmm. Yeah, facts. We can feel gratitude and take delight in what brings us pleasure. Rest is part of how we live well. Peacock Priestess reminds you that you can see taking rest as an act of love and a way to be a good role model. Don't allow guilt or shame to stop you from taking delight in your downtime. What kind of rest you need will vary. It could be a long nap, a long nap, painting, listening to music, writing poetry, or practicing meditation, a bath with candles, visiting a temple or church to sit quietly, whether you are religious or not, doesn't matter. And it says working in your garden, playing with animals, or going for a walk and being in nature, soaking up her beautiful healing energy. There are many ways to rest. Try some. Find out what you enjoy. So for your sacred ritual, it says, imagine, feel, visualize, or pretend that the universe is holding you gently and safely in its hands while it's you lay back and relax. Okay, yeah. Some of you guys do need to take care of yourself here. With the, You're breadcrumbing yourself. It might not even be anybody else breadcrumbing you, but you're getting ready to reach burnout here. With the center wands in the reverse, if this is you, tired and shit, you're getting ready to reach burnout. You need to rest, honey. Mm-hmm. 
So, oh, that was nice. So, um, this could be you too, ignoring your intuitive gifts, whatever you have. Uh, yeah, okay. It's a lot that you need to do, Gemini. I feel like it's really not a lot. I just feel like really it's just one simple thing you need to do. And this thing said rest. Rest in your way. Whatever rest is to you. You're not taking time for yourself. You're just not. So. Um, this was your reading though. I hope this reading gave you clarity. Like, comment, subscribe. Turn your notification bell on. Press the all button so you won't miss any of my readings. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.